So let's go back to high grade lesions. So we know these patients always need radiation and then a lot of this would apply to a low grade lesion that does need radiation. And if someone were diagnosed with this 20 or 30 years ago, they would have been treated with essentially whole brain radiation. The issue back then was our technology was not particularly sophisticated. We didn't have good ways of localizing the area that needed to be treated within the brain. So we treated the whole brain. The downside with that is we treated a lot of normal tissue. Uh, as computer technology advanced and our machines advanced, we were able to develop what we call 3D conformal treatment, which is the ability to design things in three dimensions and create what's called a beam's eye view or what the tumor would look like from any given angle. And then IMRT or intensity modulated radiation therapy, which is the ability to really shape the beams very well. And now even more recently, IGRT or image guided radiation, which is basically using IMRT but including daily imaging of the tumor area every day before treatment to help make sure we're accurately targeting the area. And the advantages of these more advanced treatments are it lets us increase doses while decreasing toxicity. So we now can better cover the area that needs treatment or the target as we call it, which is either the tumor or the operative cavity after surgery and sparing normal tissues. And some of the parts of the brain are quite quite critical, such as the brainstem or the optic nerves, the optic chiasm, which are some of the areas of the brain that involve vision. And so these are certainly areas that we want to keep to a safe dose of radiation, but we also want to make sure we cover the area that needs treatment as best it can. So when someone comes to us and needs radiation, uh, in the picture on your right hand side, this is a linear accelerator and this is a type of radiation machine that develops high energy radiation beams. And then when, before we start treatment, we do a mapping session. We call it a simulation where we design the radiation treatment. One of the keys is to keep the patient in the exact same position every day. So we create what we call a face mask, which is a plastic mask that is molded to the patient's face and will every day be put over the patient to make sure their head is in the exact same position. We do a CAT scan with them in that position but the issue with CAT scans is we don't always see brain tumors very well on CAT scans. In fact, we rarely see brain tumors well. So we have to create a way to incorporate the MRI information. So we do what's called a fusion, where we overlay the MRI and the CAT scan. And here we have an example of what we do behind the scenes. After the mapping session, we take the CAT scan images, which are these darker boxes, and then the lighter boxes are the MRI images. And here, the white area is abnormal area on the MRI, but you can see that you barely see it on the CAT scan. So we use the brain anatomy, we fuse these images so that we can draw on the MRI, but the images translate onto the CAT scan. So on your right hand side up here is a CAT scan image and on the left is an MRI. And as you can see on the CAT scan, you don't even see an abnormality. But on the MRI, we clearly see this white area that is clearly an abnormality. So by fusing these studies together, we can outline the tumor on the MRI, and it shows up on the CAT scan, because our machines need the CAT scan to do the planning off of. We not only outline the tumor, and then we add an area of what appears to be normal brain tissue, but remember we discussed that there are probably microscopic cells in that area. And then we also outline normal structures. So down here we see that we've outlined the eyes, the optic nerves, the brain stem, the spinal cords. These are areas of the brain that we're going to try to avoid in the treatment of the brain tumor. And in this green and light blue area, this is the brain tumor that has been outlined. And then we can use our advanced computer programming to design the angles of the treatment and design the radiation. And this is just a 3D representation Again, you can see your eyes, your optic nerves, your brain stem. So we're able to see these structures and we're able to see the tumor. This does not have the tumor contoured on here at the, on the slide, but then we're able to design beams that will treat tumor and minimize dose to these other structures. And then once we design the treatment, every day the patient will come in, we'll put that mask on, and in the head of the machine we have these metal bars. And these metal bars can block radiation and we can computerize the treatment so that we can create almost any shape with these bars and 
the open area is where the radiation comes through, where everything that's closed is blocking radiation. We then, so basically we're treating something to this shape. And this is then done from many different angles, and that allows us to treat almost any shaped tumor. 